All right, third graders, you are going to use the distributive property to find products by breaking apart arrays. Okay, today we are going to read this story and answer the questions, and then I'm going to show you how to break an apart an array and use the distributive property. Read the story, please. Six new fish for his aquarium. He paid seven dollars for each fish. How many did he spend in all? Times six times seven dollars. You can use the distributive property to solve the problem. Okay, we'll talk about the distributive property in a minute. Let's answer the questions in the blue box. Describe the groups in this problem. Describe the groups. So basically it's asking how many groups or what 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 groups of what? It says you're going to do 6 times 7, which means what? Yes, 6 groups of 7 fish. Oops, well, I thought it was 7 Or no, six, not 6 groups of 7 fish. 7 groups of 6. No, it's 6 groups of $7. But we're just going to say 6 groups of 7. You don't have to say that uh, the dollars. 6 groups of 7. Six groups of seven. That is describing it. Then it asks you to circle the numbers that you will use to solve the problem. What's one of the numbers? We should already know this from just doing the last one, but what's one of the numbers, Aubrey? Seven. And what's the other number? Six. Okay, so circle seven and six in your word problem. <laughs> now, the distributive property. Read it. What does a distributive property do? The distributive property says that multiplying a sum by a number is the same as multiplying each added by a number and then adding the product. Okay, and remember that a sum is the answer to addition problem, and add-ins are numbers that are being added. Now, remember, okay, we keep, I keep telling you, multiplication and addition are related, aren't they? Yes. When you're multiplying, you're just adding several times, aren't you? And you're adding the same number, right? Because you're repeatedly adding the same number more time, uh, multiple times, right? Yes, like if you're multiplying by 2, you're just adding the other number 2 times. Or if you're multiplying by 4, you're adding the other number 4 times. Or you're multiplying by 6, you're adding the other number 6 times, right? Okay. So addition and multiplication are related, all right? You can't, you'll can't. use addition to solve multiplication problems, okay? So let's do this activity right here. For finding 6 times 7, we're going to do um, 6 rows of 7 as an array, okay? So do you see it goes 6 rows down and 7 rows across, or 7 across? Okay. 7 chairs in each row, I guess I should say. Okay, so remember how we said yesterday 6s are a little bit difficult, right, to multiply. So we're going to break apart this 6 times 7, okay? Instead of doing six, 6 times 7, I would like for you to think about this. They're doing 6 times 7 is the same thing as 6 times 5 plus 2. You know how yesterday we broke apart the 6? Okay, today they're breaking apart the 7 instead. And they're breaking apart the 7 into... Um, what are some ways that you can add to make 7? 3 and 4. Okay, you could do 3 plus 4. What's another way? 5 plus 2. What's another way? 1 plus 6 or 6 plus 1? 
or two plus five or four plus two. I was three, gonna right? say the Okay. They are doing five plus two. They broke apart seven into five plus two. Okay? But so basically what they just did, you know how yesterday we broke apart the six all the time? Yeah. They're breaking apart the seven instead. And they did five plus two. So instead, now they're doing six times five. And they're gonna find that answer. And then six um times two. Those are two easy things. Fives and twos are easy to multiply by, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's do it. What is six times five, everybody? Three. Okay, and what is six times two? Twelve. Okay, so six times seven is the same thing as thirty plus twelve, which thirty plus twelve then is what? Two and zero is two. Three and one is four. So six times seven equals forty-two. Okay. There you go. So Mark spent how many dollars for his new fish? Forty-two. Forty-two dollars. They already have a dollar sign for you. Okay. So I can show you how to break that apart then on your number line or on your array. So you know how you have seven. Let me put it. See how you have seven seats in each row? Yeah. And how we broke apart the seven into five and two? Yeah. So they just did this. They did one, two, three, four, five, and they made a line down the middle. You have five on that side and two on that side. Okay? So two of twos on these sides and five on this side. That's how they broke it apart. Alright? Let's go to the next page. All right, let's read the story again. Suppose Mark bought nine fish for six dollars each. You can break apart a nine times six array into two smaller arrays for facts you know. One way is to think of nine as five plus four. Draw a line to show this way. Then find the product. Okay, so they are doing nine times six, right? Oh, I need a different color. Nine times six. That's what we want to find, right? Okay, and they told us to break apart the nine to this time, right? Okay, they said to break apart the nine, and what's the way that they told us that what two numbers can add to equal nine? What did they say, everybody? Four. Five and four. Yes, five plus four. Okay, so what we're going to do then is we're going to do what? You guys tell me. Six times five. Okay, we're going to do six times five. Which they have that here for you, so do six times five. And yes, Tyson said it is equal thirty. And then you're doing six, six times, times four. Okay, and um, so this number can also go over here. Six times four. Okay, and what does six times four equal? Well, what is 6 times 2 equal, guys? 12. So do 2 12, which is? 24. 24. Okay. So, 6 times 5, we said was what? 30. So we're going to write 30 right here. And it's like 30 plus 24, because that's what we're going to do right here, right? 30 and 24. So write 24 here. So zero plus four equals four. Three plus two equals five. So nine times six equals fifty-four. Now let's show how we broke apart this array. We did six and five and six and four. Okay. Now look, there is one, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine rows. And there is one, two, three, four, five, six in each row, because it's nine times six, right? Now we have to break apart the nine. So where can someone come up here and show me where you're going to split the nine? Edmund? Where up here do you think you would split your array then? Okay. Do you guys think you agree? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna disagree with you. I don't because high. what hold on. Yeah, what what, what number were we supposed to split? Nine. Nine. And how many were going this way? Two. Six. So you actually split the six. Because there's six going this way. You have to make sure you're splitting the nine. The okay. nine is going the down. So um, if you wanted to split it, you you would have split four in that, and but then you just did four and two. You're gonna have to do the nine. The nine is going this way, so you have to go one, two, three, four, then split this way this time. So you can split two different ways. If you were splitting the six, sure you could split that way. But he decided, he, or but they decided that you guys needed to split the nine. So instead, you're going this way. You can split your array any way you want. I Okay, so let's look at this array up here that we just split. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Four times six, that's what this one is showing up here. Four times six, that top part of the array is four times six. And then you have one, two, three, four, five, oops, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five, six which is this array right here, okay? So up here we have, what did I say? How many rows? No, four, and how many in each row? Six. And then down here, how many do we have? Five. Five rows, and how many seats are in each row? Six. Six, okay? So write those multiplication sentences down. That is what we are doing today. We are basically just breaking apart one of the factors, okay? And we can break it apart on here. Um, shall we do share and show together and then maybe on your own with a partner? Yeah. And then, yeah. Okay. So, share and show, because I think we maybe need a little extra practice. <laughs> That's what I just said. Okay, so draw a line. I'm, I'm going over the directions. Draw a line to show how you can break apart six times eight, or these six times eight array, into two smaller arrays per fact that you know. And then write the numbers that you're going to multiply. All right, so we're going to do six times eight. What number would you like to split apart? Would you like to split apart six, or would you rather split apart eight? Six. Okay, he wants to split apart six. What two numbers equal six when you add them? And? So you, you want to do three plus three, or would you rather do a different one? Like what we did yesterday. You remember what we did yesterday? What, what, what did we do yesterday? Not two plus one. Five plus one. Because two plus one doesn't equal six. Five plus one equals six. Okay. So, we are going to split the 6 into 5 and 1. So, where would I split that then? Who wants to come up here and show me? Where would I split it if I'm doing 5 and 1? You split this array right here, this green one. You have to split the 6 into 5 and 1. Okay, do you guys agree? Yes. No. Why not? Oh, no. I don't. Why not? Because, uh, it's because there. It's kind of just like the other one. He did uh. He the, split what one? Six or eight? He split the six. The eight. He split the eight. You were supposed to split the six. So he you split the eight because he one two three four five six seven eight, and you split it 